ASMR gaming news, please hit that like button, sit back, relax, and let's begin. So, biggest piece of news this week is, well, is a pretty big surprise, uh, came as a surprise to a lot of people. So, Nintendo revealed the secret Super Smash Bros. Ultimate new DLC fighter. It's the next DLC fighter, and it's going to be Steve from Minecraft. Yes, you heard that right. Minecraft Steve is going to be the next DLC fighter in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on the Nintendo Switch. So the Minecraft community went crazy, Nintendo community went crazy, uh, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all forums, Twitch, YouTube, people are just making videos, posts, everything about this, it's insane, so people are very happy, and they are currently talking about a live stream that they're going to have in about two days from now, I think. It's going to be like Japan time, so I'm not sure what time that is here. But basically, they will show off a lot more about the characters, uh, like new DLC characters. They're going to talk about Minecraft Steve, and they will give a release date when Steve is going to be officially in the game to play. So, I'm excited, like, for real, this is huge. No one was expecting Minecraft representation in Super Smash Bros., so this is awesome. I will definitely be playing as Minecraft Steve. Maybe I'll even do a video on the channel with him when he's in Smash Bros., but that is amazing. Uh, Minecraft and Nintendo community together yet again. Last time was during a Nintendo and Super Mario, like collab in Minecraft, and now it seems like there's yet another Minecraft and Nintendo collab, so this is amazing, and apparently a lot of stages are going to have, like, all sorts of cool abilities and blocks and biomes that will be available in the stage. Uh, so there's going to be all sorts of, like, Minecraft things added into Smash Bros. now because of Minecraft Steve's inclusion, so it's going to be big, so this is awesome. Uh, next, we got a trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold Wars Zombies Mode. Uh, they revealed it in a new trailer this week, it gave us the first look of, you know, gameplay and screenshots and stuff like that. Let me tell you, Zombies in Cold War, the Zombies Mode is gonna be insane. People are already saying that the Zombies Mode looks like it could be its own video game, kind of like how Warzone could have been its own game, not even included in Modern Warfare. The same can be said about zombies, like, it's crazy, and I'm so happy because I really miss playing zombies, like Black Ops Zombies with friends. So you know what, I think I'll be playing this on the channel. I'll be pretty bad because I'm rusty, I haven't played in a long time. But it's going to be awesome playing with friends, taking out zombies, <laughs> trying to get all the good weapons and stuff. So, zombies mode looks crazy. Go check out some of the new stuff revealed in the trailer and there's screenshots and everything out there. So, see for yourself. I'm pretty excited for Cold Wars and zombies mode. So, <laughs> I'm probably more excited for zombies than the actual like online multiplayer at this point. Next, Fall Guys Season 2 is right around the corner, and apparently the developer for Fall Guys, uh, well, at least the guy that runs the Twitter account, uh, posted an update saying that starting with next season, which is Season 2, they're going to be way more generous with crowns. So, right now, it's extremely difficult to get crowns. Uh, basically, unless you, like, 100%ed the battle pass, the only way to get crowns is by winning, and winning against, like, 59 other players is really tough. So now they made it so in order to get crowns, you will have to, you know, unlock it in the battle pass and level up and 
things like this, so everyone will have a better chance in the next season, and of course you will be able to win crowns as well, just as you can now, so I'm excited because this means maybe I'll be able to have some more crowns now, and they are also going to make different modes, apparently one's going to be slightly easier to win, so like with less players, so this means that we might have a chance of actually winning for once on, on like the channel here in a video. My first Fall Guys uh, win will probably be in Season 2, so I'm happy. Uh, next, Nintendo just released the anticipated Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary game called Super Mario Bros. 35, and it's available on Nintendo Switch for download. Uh, they released it in Japan. And they are sh slowly releasing it around the world. So by tomorrow evening, I think it should be out like everywhere. But uh, yeah, basically this is like a battle royale Super Mario Brothers game. Where it's you versus 35 other people. And you're all running through like Super Mario Brothers level. And every enemy that you jump on and things like that, you can actually send into other people's games to try to mess them up. And the last player standing that did not die or completed the stages wins. So I want to play this. I want to check it out. Hopefully I can do it on the channel. But Battle Royale Super Mario Brothers sounds amazing. That <laughs> There's screenshots and everything. Even some gameplay out right now. So check it out if you're a Super Mario fan. Next, a pretty important game came out this week that... I think is going to be pretty big, so it's called Genshin Impact. It's an anime game, so if you're not a weeb, if you're not into anime stuff, probably skip ahead a few a few minutes, like a minute or two. But uh, yes, there's a game called Genshin Impact. It came out, it's completely free, and all you have to do is download it, kind of like Fortnite, and you can play it, and the game looks beautiful. It almost feels like a fully priced game, but it's available for free. It's in like a fantasy world. There's abilities you can level up. The fighting is very fast paced and fluid. It feels amazing. I played it for a while. Kind of like it. I think I might actually do a video of it on the channel. Uh, but yeah, everyone is playing that right now. Uh, I've been seeing videos of it recommended on YouTube like all day and some other websites I go on. So Genshin Impact, it's on PC. I think it's available on like PS4 and Xbox 2, but honestly I don't know. Oh no, yeah, it is, it is. It's on like PS4 and Xbox 2, so I think it's even on Nintendo Switch. And the game is free, but you have to like buy gems and things if you want to like level up faster. But if you don't want to do that, I think you can just like play normally. That's what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah, it kind of looks like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in terms of, like, beautiful graphics, and it's like a huge open world, fantasy world to explore. There's abilities, characters, voice acting, all of this stuff. Really good game. I recommend checking it out if you're into the art style, because I know some people are like, ooh, anime, I want to play Call of Duty. So if you're not one of those people, this is not a game for you. But... If you love that kind of thing, definitely check out Genshin Impact. Next, we got a gameplay trailer for a very creepy game that's coming out this month. Amnesia Rebirth. Yes, this is a new Amnesia game. And I'm really scared of playing this on the channel because the Amnesia games creep me out. Seriously, they're some of the scariest games ever. I rank them up there with like Outlast and the Silent Hill games. These will just mess you up. Uh, so Amnesia Rebirth had a gameplay trailer come out this week. So we got to see some gameplay, and it looks creepy. I was creeped out just by this gameplay trailer, and nothing too scary really happened. But I can already imagine myself playing this on PC, so if enough of you want me playing this, I guess I could do this for like a Halloween video. But it's going to be spooky. Uh, next... There is a rumor that the Mass Effect Trilogy Remaster is planned currently for early 2021. So, yeah, there's something going wrong with the Mass Effect Trilogy Remaster. It's been rumored for like a year or two now. 
it, it was supposed to come out a while ago that was like delayed that was supposed to be coming out like at launch for the new consoles and now it's saying early next year who knows if it's going to be delayed there seems to be some problem with this remaster right now so honestly i don't even know if this rumor is true or not but enough people believe it so there is a chance that sometime early next year there's going to be a collection a remaster of the mass effect trilogy and it'll probably come out on like ps5 and the new xbox series x and pc and all that stuff uh probably not switch though uh let's see what else we got here uh resident evil village we got some more news apparently the next resident evil game may actually be like cross console uh get like a cross console release like it won't just come out on ps5 and xbox series x but it might actually come out on ps4 and xbox one too so new generation will get it and old generation of consoles will get it uh they sometimes do this with new games like uh let me think uh, metal gear solid 5 was one that came out on, like old generation like consoles and also came out on new ones so i think they're going to be doing the same thing with resident evil village you know they might release it on older and newer systems so everybody will get a chance to play it so that's awesome speaking of resident evil capcom reveal the new resident evil netflix series called resident evil infinite darkness imagine <laughs> that title sounds so edgy infinite darkness <laughs> who came up with that name it sounds kind of cool but also kind of cringe i don't know if anyone understands what i'm trying to say but yeah resident evil infinite darkness is the name of the new netflix series coming out next year kind of disappointing it's not this year but hey next year there's going to be a resident evil series and there's like a little like teaser trailer out looks pretty good i'll definitely be watching it and now let's get on to all of the crazy playstation 5 news so first off travis scott he got a playstation 5 and he posted a picture on his instagram with a playstation 5 controller saying that he's gonna play until like the sun comes up or something and everybody went crazy <laughs> people got really upset that travis scott already has a playstation 5 but let's be honest, he's Travis, and he probably has, like, all the video game consoles that he ever wants. He loves games. He's connected to a lot of people in the video game industry. He's signed to Sony. Sony makes PlayStations. So, I guess all he had to do was, like, call someone over at Sony and was like, Hey, can I get one of those new PS5s? And they probably sent him one. So, yeah, he has one. And people are saying it's like a huge boost for the advertising campaign for the PS5 as well. Since a lot of people that weren't necessarily going to get a PS5 might actually get one now. Because Travis Scott is getting it because he just has that huge fan base. So it's pretty crazy. Next we got some news about uh, Doritos campaign in Europe. Uh, apparently PlayStation 5 marketing has just begun for the PlayStation 5 in Europe, and they're using Doritos to market the new console. So they're probably going to do the same thing over here in the States and Canada, and all of North America, maybe the rest of the world too. But uh, yeah, Doritos and PlayStation 5 are teaming up to kind of promote the launch of the console. Uh, there's like images of the bag and stuff talking about the PS5. So hey, that's pretty cool. Going to definitely try to get one of those just for fun. Um, next, there was a leak about secret PlayStation 5 features that were discovered in the source code of the PlayStation Online Store. So yeah, hackers managed to get in, and I say hackers, but it's more like code breakers. Uh, they managed to get into the source code of the PlayStation Store uh, to check what recently was changed or updated. And there was a lot of info about PlayStation 5 features that they got. So apparently PS5 is going to have the ability to make wish lists, like a wish list of your favorite games you want to buy. Uh, PlayStation 5 parties will allow over like 100 people to be in a party. So that's crazy. 
crazy amount of 100 people in a PlayStation like party chat. That's just insane. <laughs> That'll be PS5. That's going to be crazy. And just a lot of other like similar features. There's going to be like a boost mode. I don't know what boost mode is, but there's going to be one and a lot of other things. So I'm excited to see all the new PS5 features once they get officially revealed because I'm really excited now. Uh, Demon Souls uh, got some details about the PS5 Digital Deluxe Edition. So if you're a huge Demon Souls fan, there's going to be a special Digital Deluxe Edition of the game. Uh, details are out there right now. So if you're into Demon Souls, definitely check that out. Sackboy uh, got like a new gameplay trailer for his new PS5 game. Sackboy's a big adventure. And there's like special editions and everything of this game as well. So if you're a big Sackboy fan, a little bit Planet fan, definitely check out the new gameplay trailer. It looks nice. Same goes for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. A new story trailer just came out this week. Looks amazing. The graphics for this game got even better. Like, seriously. <laughs> Compared to the last trailer, they looks like they look so good now like the character details and everything the game looks amazing before it looked good now it looks just insanely good uh very polished and uh next uh they released kind of like a bunch of informational details about the playstation 5 launch game destruction all stars and this is a game I'm kind of excited for, like, it looks crazy. I want to know more about it. There was a little, like, trailer that we got. Uh, now they just gave us a bunch of information about how the game plays, the characters, details about pre-orders and the special editions of the game. There's going to be, like, a special digital deluxe version. And the game seems pretty cool. I just need to see some gameplay, like a new trailer, because we haven't gotten an actual, like, game in-game, like, gameplay footage trailer yet, so I need to see a little bit more before I make a decision, but Destruction All-Stars looks awesome. It's going to be a good PS5 game, I think. And last piece of news, uh, Spider-Man got a face change on the PS5 edition of the game, so yeah, this is pretty interesting. So apparently Spider-Man's character model, the Spider-Man from the PS4 game, has been changed in the PS5 edition of Spider-Man. So for those that don't know, they're porting like a remastered version of Spider-Man on PS4 to PS5 with better graphics, enhancements, and stuff like that. And they're including that with the Miles Morales Spider-Man version of the game. And Peter Parker's face has been changed. He no longer looks like he did on PS4. He looks like a younger guy. Kind of looks like Tom Holland a little bit. And some people are complaining about it. Some people thought that it was a great idea. But it was a huge, big, like, internet drama this week. So a creative director and people had to, like, post some tweets and talk about it to, you know, kind of, like, calm the fans down and say that they understand, but they made the right decision and to just trust them, so it's not too big of a difference, but if you really liked how Spider-Man looked in the old game, I wish they would have included, like, an option in the remastered version from the old game, you know, something so people could just make the choice, but either way, it's not that big of a deal, I think, and he looks amazing, so can't wait to play Spider-Man on a uh, PS5, so... Yeah, that's all the news for this week. Thank you all for listening, for watching. We got through a lot of stuff. So, uh, yeah, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, check out the Patreon at patreon.com uh, slash ASMRgaming. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back really, really soon with a new video. So, so long.